Okay, today we're in West Yorkshire and we're following another former disused railway line and we're on the Horbury West Curve, which is about a mile and three quarters in length. And we've got Barnsley down there, we've got Wakefield over there, and over in that direction, we've got Huddersfield. So we're starting at the southernmost point of Criggleston Junction. That's about another quarter of a mile down there. So the, the active main line off towards Wakefield and Barnsley is a bit of a jump over there. We're absolutely nowhere near that whatsoever. So this was opened in March 1902 and it was taken out of use in I believe around about 1991 as it continued to use freight traffic up until then. So four months after the Horbury West Curve did in fact open, it did in fact also get passenger services only for a short period up until 1961. The timetables tended to dwindle shortly after the Second World War. So four months after the line opened, there was indeed passenger services along here. So we're gonna walk up northward towards Horbury Junction. Now the best feature along this route isn't actually on this line and we'll see it about halfway down as we walk along. And it is in fact Criggleston Viaduct. It's got 21 brick built arches, 1,270 feet in length. It absolutely dominates the skyline as we get about halfway down this route. And it's pretty much central between both east and west Horbury curves as it spans between the pair of them. So here's the map, thanks to realmaponline.com. You can see this great big triangle in the center of screen. You've got a left curve, a right curve, and a curve at the top, which is the active line between Dewsbury and off towards Wakefield on the right hand side. Now the curve we're looking at is the green one on the left. That doesn't really help because most of it is green. Criggleston Junction is right at the bottom. We're starting just near there. And we've got a former colliery line going off from left to right and up towards Wakefield. You'll also notice a yellow line going from left to right and that is the former Midland Railway off to Dewsbury. And it has Criggleston Viaduct, 21 arches of beautiful brick built history just there. We'll continue on where we'll cross over the, the Calder and Hebble Canal and also we'll end up at the River Calder, just shy of Horbury Fork Line Junction. Right, it comes to the very first bridge over bridge and it is quite a good one. It's got very nice high sidewalls. That's Denverdale Road below us and the A636 between, I think it's Bretton and off towards Wakefield over in that direction. Still got the central divide just here as you would expect to. Look at all them rivets going along there. Now it doesn't appear to be any markings of the old bridge number for the Department of Transport on this at each end. We'll keep an eye out to see if it really is there still. It's quite a fantastic piece this, isn't it? And there's a view looking north. You might just be able to see just there, Criggleston Viaduct in the very distance. And I'll turn you about into the sun's glare, unfortunately, but you can see where the road heads off and curves away from the bridge. Nice view of the rivets down there. So stood above the bridge, I've got Helena right next to me. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, so it's like my local area. So How long ago did you do it? About two years ago in lockdown. Has it so changed a lot? Yeah, well, um, it's a bit more of a groan, but yeah. other than that, it's all pretty much the same. Because there was track down, weren't it, until about six, seven years ago? Yeah, so I remember doing it as a kid, like when about pre-2012, walking along the rails and stuff like that. So like, it's changed a lot since then. I'm yeah. being a bit lazy, really, because you're just stood there and I'm actually sat on the central <laughs> pier. Hello, you. Say, Look at this, we've got two of you on camera now. Yeah. Is that it? Oh. So we're going to push on a little bit further north and we're going to leave the road and that magnificent bridge behind. We're absolutely nowhere near the other line now, it's about a quarter of a mile away over on the east side. Criggleston Viaduct is getting closer, you won't see it because we've got all these trees. 
You can see it's a nice surface to walk along. There is ballast down below the leaves and it's quite a high embankment as well. If I take you over here, you can see that's a considerable drop down there. It's not often I get up on an embankment this high, but the embankment does disappear soon, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gets more flat and it gets leveled out into like an old colliery. Yeah. So like two branches, two, two lines branch off to where a colliery goes into the canal and a colliery joins the main, la main line. So and there's a bit of uh, history about the line that goes underneath the bridge. Doesn't it go towards the um, Huddersfield Mining Museum? Oh yeah, so like if you hard to explain, so the line goes up that way. It goes up to the uh, Yorkshire Mining Museum, yeah. the National Mining Museum. So where that line crosses underneath this one at the bridge, I'll be able to get a bit of footage for you down there because we can get down on the road that does in fact also go under there. And I'll try and find some historical photos as well. That's the view going back then. So the bridge. We've just been over, it's out of sight, down there. So through the twigs and bushes and approaching this tree look, we've got a former base for a signal. You can see where the cables used to come out. You've got the four bolts surrounding it. There's even an old concrete post behind it, look. Um, looking that way, there's absolutely nothing, no cable channel or anything. There's an old concrete cover just there. So that's a good little find, that, isn't it? It's quite, quite handy, it's quite clear as well. No leaves or anything on that. So we've got the old bridge number look on here, but more interestingly, if I poke the camera through here, look at that, July 1966. That's what I'm assuming that that means. It looks pretty well preserved if that was done all those years ago, almost 50 years ago, that this is the only trace of a bridge mark or number that we've got. And incidentally, the road below is Blacker Lane. And there also used to be another colliery line coming across underneath and out the other side. And that was the one for the former colliery, which is now that National Mining Museum that we mentioned previously. So jumping down one moment from where we just were, that mineral line shot straight across just there. Proof and evidence of that is, look, this still rails down in this iced up tarmac. Just there, look at that. That's phenomenal. It's really, really good. Right, let's get back up to the track bed. So at this point we're on Blacker Lane or just about to cross over it and down below there used to be a former mineral line as I mentioned earlier it joined on to the main active line at Calder Grove just over here but it did also cross the country going off west and visited various collieries including the National Coal Mining Museum as it is now. Also we've got some railway sleepers that have been reused. There's an old um, bolt there as well. Look. look at that old isn't it and we've got the cable carriers concrete posts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of them and there are the brackets on the other side for those carriers there's also a tree having to sit down on that old wooden sleeper just watching the hours and the days go by Okay, next up we've got another bridge immediately after the other one and it's just farm access look nice and narrow but it looks like it's got its bridge stamp on there look there we go so that's nice to see that marked up that one's got 162 on it there we go so that's got to be the year hasn't it so that's going to be january 1962 
Got again the number on the other side as well, just behind the graffiti. Can't really make it out, but it's going to be the same. And again, January 1962. You may have just seen a glimpse of Crigleston Viaduct on the right hand side. She's becoming ever closer and you should be seeing some really nice drone footage of that as well. I'll give you a quick glimpse as a pan around, but first of all, you can see we're coming up to this right there. It's a bridge or is it a very, very tiny tunnel? Whatever it is, it carries the former Midland line, which shut in 68 over Crigleston Viaduct. And we're going to get ourselves right underneath it. So quite long supporting abutments all in blue brick, but just look at the curvature of the brickwork going on in there, swirling up and around to the exit point. That is beautiful, isn't it? And it does it the same if you could just make it out. It does that look as it goes on the inside all the way through and on the opposite side, just get you out of that sun's glare, you can see again brickwork it swirls over and it curves and then it stays straight all the way through to the other end i mean this is really curious because there's something else that we just picked up on is where the brickwork flicks up and you go over and it does all that curving on the opposite side it flicks down it's doing the exact opposite to that side before we pass through underneath that short tunnel slash bridge, which carries the Midland Railway above it, I'm gonna have a run up, if I can, on top of that track bed, and we'll see what it looks like from above. Here it is, the 21 arch Crigleston Viaduct from ground level of the Midland Railway track bed. So back to the maps again, and you can see our yellow line going from left to right. We've got Dewsbury off to the left. And that is the former Midland Railway and Crigleston Viaduct is slap bang in the middle of it. Now there used to be a colliery down there. I think it may have been called Oak House Colliery or something along those lines. And that dominated a lot of the landscape down below. And you can see the left hand side is our Dewsbury West curve that we've been following today. And the East curve is on the right hand side. A quick jump back to maps from the early 1900s and you can see the lay of the land. You can see the Colliery Railway going off to the left. After it's crossed Blacker Lane, you can see the line from left to right coming from Dewsbury and it says it's in the course of construction. That's fascinating, isn't it? So that railway line with Crigleston Viaduct when this map was drawn was under construction. And our two Crigleston curves, the west on the left and the east on the right hand side. And if we do a 50% overlay of current maps and the old map, you can see literally how everything 
laid out on how it is today which looking at it from Google is not really much at all is it all that industry and railway has just gone and it's just the one line on the right hand side heading up between Wakefield and Barnsley So backtracking a little bit along the former Midland line though, Vidal is just behind us and we're gonna stand above our Criggleston West Curve and that is around about here somewhere whether we'll be able to see it because of all the undergrowth and we can get close enough ah maybe we've got an opportunity just here have a look here I think we could actually get on top just there there we go so we're going to get ourselves on top of our track bed how about that so we've not been down there yet we've just walked up to the other portal on the other side of that track bed but this it's a brilliant view isn't it looking down Here we go, look, look at this. Look at the slant on that. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. We've got the bridge number on this one as well. Get you right up to this, I think. Oh, look at the old cable carriers down there. That's a relic, isn't it? They're all the way along. There's the bridge number. That's good, isn't it? The stonework's beautiful, and obviously the, um, the base has been replaced at some point to the steel version I think there's an old workman's hut down here as well, a brick one before we cross the Calder and Hebel and here it is from the other side it's more like a trough there's the old plate layers hut, look all bricked up, got a complimentary gorilla with a crown but nothing inside other than a bit of a den for the locals it's not very often you see a brick one, it's usually those concrete flat sections <laughs> 
One final look at the maps today, you can see our green line going from bottom to top. That's the direction we've been going. First, we're going to cross over the Calder and Herald navigation. And pretty much immediately after that, we will hit the River Calder. And that's where we're going to finish off today as the route becomes impassable beyond that. Quite a bit of floodland down there as well. And you can just see from the bottom left hand side, the former Midland Railway, which featured Crigleston Viaduct shooting off towards Dewsbury. So this is the point, this steel trellis, girder bridge, it's gonna cross the Calder and Hebel. You could just make out the water down there. We've got the bridge number again on this one. So this is one slash five. So we're going down in sequence, aren't we? But this is fantastic, isn't it? Reminds me a little bit of the one on the silver wood colliery branch I did near Rotherham a few months ago. Let's have a peek down at the canal. Look at that. Just a quick trip down below and look at this wooden supports underneath here for this farm access that's absolutely looks like something you'd see back in medieval days that's great isn't it if i take you around here we can get a glimpse of what the main part of the structure looks like there we go look at that that's good So we've pretty much come to the end of our journey today because further down the track bed, it's impassable. And then eventually after another quarter of a mile or so, it does in fact lead onto an active main line. But what a beautiful place to finish off at. This is the River Calder. It floods regular, I've been told. And just over there, you may be able to see bits of water where it has done recently. And that is a cracking little way to end it isn't it so we'll get to the other end you can see where the colder comes out the colder and hebel is just over there in the direction of the sun and we crossed that a few moments ago and here are the abutments at the far end look no trace of any bridge numbers for this one. Oh, there is actually no tell a lie i can see it it's got the number four on just through there can you make that out and the track bed beyond here it's just here, you see the ballast comes to an end and people obviously walk down along the river. There's a path down there, but we're not going down there. So that was the Horbury Curve and Crigleston Viaduct. Nearly forgot them. So thanks to these two. No problem. It's all right, got more stuff to do around there, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. So you're getting a video of this as well, aren't you? Definitely. Most likely, yeah. So we'll put a link down below for that. So from West Yorkshire, somewhere near Wakefield in a nice, calm and safe area. Goodbye.
cable carriers, concrete posts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. If I go this way, a little bit with that. Oh, I did, I did, I fell. But I'm all right. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So I'm going to finish off right on this bridge I'm stood on now, because down below I've got the Calder. And that is obviously where part of the name comes from. Have I said that wrong? What is it? Calder. Uh, hello. Hello. Do you need any food or anything? I'd like a McDonald's, please. There isn't one around here. How long have you been in there? About 20 years. 20 years? That's amazing. So, have you actually grown out the top of that? Yeah. Wow. Where are your mum and dad? Still at Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, we're going to McDonald's. Come on, Richard. Yep. Let's go. So, that was the Horbury Curve and Crigleston Viaduct. Nearly forgot then. So, thanks to these two. No problem. Man. It's all right, got more stuff. stuff to do around there, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. And it might get a bit wet at times. <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs>